I think as diversity scholars, you're the new eyes of the theories and practice. You've seen things that other people have seen, but you're thinking things that other people have not thought because you're bringing that lens, that consciousness. And that's what I think diversity research is all about. Three simple things that I have found that has allowed me, I think, to make my work as a scholar in diversity work. Three things, authentic, purposeful, and strategic. So what I'm talking about is authentic. I'm talking about the indigenous insider in you, in the researcher that is you. That's what makes research authentic. That's what makes it work. Who determined reality? Does your experience constitute your reality? And I found that many of my experiences were not written in the academy. So I had to write them in because that's who I was authentically. There's two primary ways of talking about this authenticity that I'm trying to mention here. One is the indigenous perspective that we bring based on our social location, our identity. But the other is even if you don't have that particular identity, the identity that's marginalized, if you bring a genuine concern for social justice, that's just as important to authenticity. If you look at your research and you don't see yourself, that's something wrong. If you can't feel what you're doing, do something differently. Last picture here. Second one, purposeful pursuit. It has to be a purposeful pursuit. Zora Neale Hurston says, research is formalized curiosity. It's poking and prying with a purpose. Strategic sharing. It has to be authentic. It has to have purpose. But you have to understand how to strategically share your work to have the impact in social justice that it should. So you're right, there are some system requirements. There's some system requirements for this app to work. Number one, you have to be committed. You have to be committed to what you're doing. You have to have the level of commitment to get a rejection letter from one journal and not think that's the end of the world. Number two, you have to have courage without compromise. I hear people, I hear junior faculty say, well, I, I'm afraid to write too much about race and this kind of things because I don't want to jeopardize my ability to get tenure. Well, you see, I kind of think if you bring the psychometric integrity, you bring the right process, you bring the right methods, they can't deny quality. They can't deny quality. So you can't compromise what it is that you really want to do. You have to have the courage to fight through it. And then lastly, there has to be coherence. There has to be synergy. I think, I think the work we do is mystical. I think it's mystical. I think there's magic in it. But to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. You have to believe that the work you do is worth a noble cause. You have to believe in it. And you have to allow the belief in you to overcome the fear that you may have of not being successful. The point is, no matter how you do it, be present. Be present. You can't be authentic if you're not present. You have to be in the experience. You can't be an imposter to the experience. You have to be present.